<laughs> the Cossel has a question. Hello, everyone. I have a customer list that retrieved data from customer SharePoint list. When my team enter data above 2000 record, records, it's not shown in the gallery. Uh, noted data were recorded in SharePoint list, but it's not shown in the gallery list. How do we solve this issue? It's generally an item limit. Yeah, there's a threshold. There's a list threshold limit of, I believe it is 2000. Mm -hmm. And the best way to fix that is to create different views of the list. So if you only have recent ones, you know, so that you don't have 2000 items trying to be displayed at the same time and um, views are the best way to do that. Like I only want the ones from the last three months, whatever brings you less than 2000. You know, if it's 10 years of data, then, you know, and 2000 takes you to five years, then make that the limit. Just kind of guess at what you think. That's what, yeah, one of the choices. And it, there's also a browser limit in that too. So the browser can sometimes uh, limit how much data it brings forward as well. I've seen that occasionally, but not recently. So that kind of, that was the old technology. But if somebody's using an old version of a browser, they may be having that same issue. So upgrade your browser. It's free. Good old days when we <laughs> used to uh, have to, we had these kinds of limitations. And so, okay, well, anything that's, you know, and so you end up doing time based, like, uh, you know, list items for the last 30 days, right. move that off into a, you know, a May 2022 database for that, that subset and have the latest. And so then you'd have to go and put together joins and pull together and uh, combine data to give people a more comprehensive view. And that's that's the old world, the data warehouse. Like, I thought we were supposed to move all beyond that. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're, we're digital hoarders. We're all digital hoarders. We got to keep things well, forever. See, that's what it used to, that's what happened is for so long, we knew we had those limitations. And so we were, we would conserve space. We would clean things up, you know, and only hold what we needed. Then we got space got so cheap, storage got so cheap. We want to and keep everything. We, we want to keep everything. We don't know yeah. what we might want to have you know, later, and then we'll regret getting rid of things. Yeah, I actually had the question just yesterday in regards to you know planner and lists, and can I archive so that I don't have all that you know task done we've been doing it for a year now and I want to kind of get rid of all of that and it sort of goes have we finished what we're doing on the Kanban boards but not actually kind of delete them and it's like no <laughs> you know it's a, it's it's a, it's one of those ones that with data people some people do want to get rid of it some don't want to get rid of it uh it's just nice to have both solutions but they're not always there yeah, I move I move things into buckets and I drag those buckets clear to the end of the planner so I don't have to look at them outside out of mine. I, yeah, I'd have to scroll to see them. Yeah, yeah. You had a friend that used to be in the Microsoft ecosystem and he's over in the DevOps world now, but uh, I think his Twitter handle used to be hoarding info. <laughs> That's great. Well, I'm a realist. I, yes. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a shocker for hoarding info. I was an ex, um, used to be an executive assistant, and we could not delete a thing. Not even a deleted email could be deleted, because you never knew when you had to cover your <laughs> cover the you know cover so, what, Kirsty? <laughs> cover what? Cover, cover, cover the behind. You uh, didn't cover yeah. your behind. You're you're yeah. you're, you're it always it. So C Y A. That's right. Yeah. And a receipt hoarder. My bookkeeper drop. You know, she's like, we can throw all these out. No, no. <laughs> Uh, just in case, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs>